Hi friends! Before I begin to study electronics, I had another hobby – mechanics. Since my childhood, I designed a simple glider models. Later studied destruction and operation of the internal combustion engine. Since then, much time has passed, but the passion for the model engines is not extinguished. Recently, I found a Banggood store model of Stirling engine. Long wanted to make it by myself, but always not enough time. So I bought it. The first practical example of a closed cycle air engine in 1816 was patented by a Scottish pastor Robert Stirling. In contrast of steam engines, it does not produce a very high pressure. Therefore, it is safe. This was exactly Stirling's goal, as the first steam engines were not reliable. At that time, explosion of steam engine boilers killed many humans. The new engine was more economical, safe and was able to run on any fuel. And efficiency of Stirling engine was higher than of steam engines. But the glory of such engines has faded in the late 19th century, with the advent of diesel and petrol engines. And only in the 21st century, people again remembered about Stirling engine. This is kind of a heat engine, but unlike an internal combustion engine, it is an external combustion engine. Those combustion process takes place outside the chamber and is separated from the working fluid. The first Starling engines, as the steam machines, have been designed for pumping water from mines, AK used as a conventional pump. Starling engine efficiency reached to 18%, against 10% for steam engines. Starling engine operation is based on the volume change of the working fluid. An important feature is that it works from the temperature difference. Low temperature engines are able to work from the human body heat. Uh, the operating principle of a simple Stirling engine is the next. There is the working piston in main cylinder. Then main cylinder is heated. Air within it is heated too. Air expands and pushes the piston. At the other end of cylinder are attached cooling ribs of radiator. The design has also a displacer piston, which pushes the warm air to the radiator. As a result, air is cooled and compressed. Working piston returns to its starting point. This principle was first used by Heron of Alexandria, the genius of the ancient world for automatic opening door of the temple. He lived around the 2nd century before Christ. By the way, one of the main factors of the Industrial Revolution in the late 18th century was the invention of the steam engine. Heron of Alexandria almost invented steam engine. He invented the steam bowl, but used it only for entertainment. If he went a little further, who knows, maybe the Industrial Revolution began 2,000 years ago. We would jump over Dark Ages. Who knows, maybe we already traveled to far galaxies, as in fantasy movies. There are a few types of Stirling engines. My is gamma type with two cylinders. The kit includes some spare parts, keys and alcohol stove. We must light up alcohol stove, wait some time and start the engine. The model is made good using iron, brass and aluminium. There is a small generator with four LEDs to demonstrate the work. In this model, there are a few transformations of energy. First, energy of working fluid is converted into reciprocating motion. Then, it converted to rotational motion. Then, into electrical energy. And LEDs turn it into light. It looks simple model, but includes all the popular types of transformations. The main parameters of the model can be viewed on the seller page. Link is under the video. I made this video for a brief excursion into history. I hope it was interesting. Thanks for watching. With you was Akakasyan.